Hi Jim, welcome home to Caplow. Is it fair to say home? Is that yeah, how you feel? No, I think that's fair enough. I uh, had seven and a bit good years here before. I think I played nearly 300 games in all competitions, so I think that's a fair assessment, yeah. How does it feel to be back then? Is it good. something you'd always sort of thought on, even when you left eight years ago? Did you think you would ever return? Yeah, no, I did, to be fair. I think if you ask anyone I've, I've became close to in football over the years, that's always something I've said. And it's not a case of coming back here and through the motions either. It's coming back here with a drive and a determination to try and get the club up to the next level. Obviously, when you left... You, particularly you and Chris Miller were two guys I always saw about the place you'd always be here at games when you weren't playing yourself mm-hmm. you had a, developed an affinity for the club in your time as a player in the first spell was that fair to say? Yeah, no, definitely uh, if if we had games off on a Saturday or wherever when I was playing elsewhere I, I did always look to come back I've, I've been very close to wee Andy wee Andy Brian, the kit man I've kept in touch with him over the years as well so it was always nice to come back and see familiar faces about the place and, and not many have changed, so I think that's one of the good things about the club. How does it feel when you, you come back in today, being about the place? Does it feel as if you've ever been away or is it, how does it feel? Does it no, I, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't say it's strange. I've always been made made welcome any time I've came to games. I've been looked after, whether it was the chairman at the time, eh, obviously since Warren's come in as well, you know, any. I've appeared down for games and his ass is up to, to speak in the lounges and stuff like that. So, no, it certainly didn't feel strange. And I think that's a good thing. You And speaking with Ray McKinnon there, the new manager, how did the move come about? I don't really know. I had a, a conversation with Warren before the manager was announced at dinner at the end of the season. And obviously he knew my plan. So I don't know whether he's had a word in the manager's ear that, that I'm available. I maybe came down about 10 days ago and just had a chat. And that's the way it was left. I was put under no pressure. The manager just wanted to outline his plans for the club going forward. And their plans, I liked what he had to say. You know, we seem very similar characters. You know, winners, hard working and stuff like that. So I went away and kind of stood over it for the last 10 days. And it just spoke to my, my family, obviously, and it just, it just felt right. Was the fact of coming back to Morton part of the pool? Or was it just in general terms what Ray had to say interested you anyway? A, a bit of both, a bit of both. It, obviously I, I'm come off the back of a bad injury as well and that wasn't a factor speaking to him, you know, whereas other managers might be a wee bit, oh you might have to come in and do pre-season and improve your fitness. That was never mentioned, so that stuck in the back of my mind that he showed trust and had faith in me to, to hit the ground running in pre-season. In your time away you've had spells at Hamilton, Dundee, Blackpool. How did how did it go when, yeah, you, when no, you left, did you? Yeah, I, I think I've done all right. I think I've done all right. Obviously, uh, played in the Premier League with Hamilton and Dundee, won the Championship at Dundee, uh, won promotion with, with Blackpool as well. So I think that's, that's what I was saying before in terms of Chris Miller coming back with the Scottish Cup in his pocket and the Championship also in his pocket in a lot of games in the Premier League. It should stand us in good stead going forward in terms of experience. If you had, obviously, young Charlie Telfer and about his, with that youth as well, the, the, the squad's starting to take good shape. Do you think you have changed a lot in your time away? I think I've probably been remembered for being a young a young winger when I left. And I think from, from the day I left here, I don't think I ever played the, in that position again, or, or that type of player. So I'm probably coming back here as a different type of player. Uh, I don't know where the manager sees his playing, probably more centrally which is where I've played a lot since I left. I had a wee spell playing kind of left and right back as well, filling in for, for injuries or suspensions and stuff like that. But since I went down south, I kind of I kind of found myself playing more centrally. Is that where you prefer now? Yeah, I think so. I think it's where I've, I've become accustomed to playing to. But it happened down south. Your, your versatility kind of goes against you sometimes as well. Uh, Managers coming to you on a Thursday and a Friday saying, oh, right back's injured, can you play there one week? Left midfield's injured, can you play there the next week? But it's a good thing for managers, but sometimes it's not a good thing for a player in terms of if you're looking for rhythm in your game and, and consistency. So uh, hopefully I can nail down a slot playing central here. Speaking about England, in particular, how was your spell at Blackpool? Did you enjoy it and what was the differences between Scottish football and English football? I, th- I think I, I did enjoy it to be fair. I think the all round standard's good. You know, we were playing against some big clubs e- even last year in our league with Wigan, Blackburn, and 
Portsmouth and Charlton they're, they're all massive clubs so that, that gives you good experience I think under your belt obviously winning promotion although I didn't play at Wembley because I was injured but being at Wembley the day we won the playoff final as well was fantastic they're great memories I'll have forever like so uh, but I just felt the time was right I had three years down the road and time was right to get back up you mentioned your injury how is it now? No, absolutely fine absolutely fine I, I trained the last two months of last season and get some game time off the bench towards the end of the season so it's not often you look forward to pre-season but uh, I'm looking forward to this pre-season more than ever it was a leg break wasn't it? yeah aye uh, clean leg break uh, through my tibia so it, it wasn't ideal It's I got to 31 without missing any games practically through injury so uh, hopefully that's the first and last injury I pick up I'm excited to, to get back playing here at Capelow then yeah nah, it's, it's it's been a long time in terms of being off the field and, and to come back here and, and get back playing it, it excites me more than anything certainly and what's your ambitions for next season Jim? I think I th- when I spoke to the boy before, I think that's that's something we'll sit down as a squad when we get everyone together in, in pre-season and we'll plan it out uh, game by game going forward. I think he's built a good spine to the team. Uh, he was wanting winners, he was wanting good professionals and, and he started off that way as the manager. So I think we need to be ambitious, we need to aim for the top, but it's important that we, we probably just take one game at a time and, and see where that takes us. Excellent, Jim. Thank you very much for your time and welcome back to Capital and good luck for next season. Thank you.